Hi guys, what is up? I am Meredith. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you returning, thank you so much for coming back to check out my videos. And if you guys are new here, I am Meredith. I am a mid-size and curvy content creator where I create lots of hauls and try-ons to make shopping and to make your lives, ladies, a little bit easier when you're trying to find clothes that fit our bodies. Oftentimes when I am shopping and I am trying to find clothes that fit my body, I do not see myself represented on the websites, in the stores, etc. I usually see sizes zeros, twos, and fours, maybe sometimes sixes, and then I also see 14, 16s, and 18s plus, and this sort of in-between area sort of gets forgotten about, and there are lots of us, I know, because I know that you guys are out there, have a hard time finding things because the models don't look like us. So I'm really trying to bridge the gap between straight sizes and plus sizes to try to bring you guys some hauls and try-ons to show you what it looks like on a size 8 slash 10. Today I have teamed up once again with one of my favorite brands, one of my affordable brands, and one of my most favorite brands that fit my body, and that brand is da -da -da, Cup She. Today I have another swimsuit haul and try on for you guys from Cupshe. I love Cupshe. We work together very often. This is a paid collaboration. However, with that being said, all of my thoughts and opinions are my own. It is officially swimsuit season pretty much everywhere. It has been a cold winter, a cold spring, and now we can finally go to the beach and go to the pools and wear our amazing bathing suits that we have coveted. If you have not seen a Cupshe video from me before, I wanted to tell you a little bit about the brand. So Cupshe offers lots of bathing suits, lots of bikinis, lots of one pieces. The best thing about the bikinis is that you can buy a separate top size from a different separate size bottom, which is amazing because sometimes some people are bigger on the top and smaller on the bottom and vice versa. And so that way they are really sort of curtailing their website to all different size bodies and shapes. They carry sizes extra small all the way up to 4X. They have lots of dresses, lots of bikinis and one pieces, lots of blouses and jumpsuits and dresses, new arrivals all the time. Because they are size inclusive, their fabrics and designs are meant to try to fit everybody's shape and size. And quickly before we get started, I wanted to give you guys my sizes for reference. I am 5'7", I have a 36 inch bust, I wear a 34 D bra, I have a 29 inch waist, I have a 44 inch hip, I wear a medium on the top and a medium on the bottom. And when it comes to pant sizes, I am generally a size eight, sometimes a 10, sometimes a six, depending on the brand, the fit, and the amount of stretch. I have done really well with the way that things fit me from Cupshe. They have always been super flattering on my body and very comfortable. So without further ado, let's hop right into the haul and try on from Cupshe. And what the heck, why not start out with my most favorite color of all time? If you guys follow me on Instagram, you know that this color is my branding color, neon yellow. Throughout this video, you're probably going to get sick and tired of hearing me say that these fit amazing. I'm pretty sure because I know Cupshe's brand and the way that things fit me, they fit me immaculately. And it's kind of shocking because this usually doesn't happen. This bikini is just the absolute best. Okay, as you guys can see, it fits really well. I love the bottoms. I also really happen to love the top. They are wedgie proof. I think I've tried this on in a different color before, so you guys know that the bathing suit bottoms can be undone on the side, and you guys can make the band wider, like so, or less wide, like so, and I actually kind of like it sort of in between the two. I also happen to pull them up on my hips because that's where I think it looks the best for my body shape. So typically they are meant to be worn down here and then I just do a little shimmy up to make them look a little bit better. The top is a classic triangle top. It does have removable pads. I absolutely love the crisscross of the back. You guys can tighten up the support in the front. I am so happy with this suit. That's why I had to start with it because she is just so good. Let's move on to the next one. I usually save the best for last. But today I'm not, I had to put this on immediately because I was so excited about this. 
Okay, so I actually wasn't sure that this fit me the way that I thought it fit the model on the website. It actually fits me the same way that it fits the model. I thought maybe there needed to be a little bit more fabric down here, but that's not actually the style of the swimsuit. Let me just get into some of the details real fast. This overlay of the bikini bottom does not come off. It is completely attached. The bottoms are not high-waisted. You guys can see how they're fitting right here. I like things when they fit here because the bottoms are not high-waisted. They have this sort of skirt that comes up to be high-waisted. So it's perfect. It doesn't actually bother me that the bottoms are not high-waisted because the skirt becomes high-waisted when you put it on properly. Let me give you a 360 of how this fits, okay? This bikini set is something that I would probably wear to say a pool party, a beach party, some sort of like summer gathering where you need to be in a swimsuit, but maybe you don't want to get into the water. Because this does not come off, I feel like this is the perfect thing to wear to a gathering. You could potentially still swim in it. For me personally, I probably wouldn't swim in this because it just doesn't make any sense to swim in something like this. I wanted to just show you the bottoms, okay? You guys can see how low rise they are. And then this sort of is the overlay sarong type bottom that covers up the bikini bottom. <laughs> I love this so much. I wasn't really sure, again, that it fit me properly, but it does this this is what this is what it is and i absolutely love it the top is a classic triangle top it does have removable pads and it is adjustable in the back obviously and it has this tiny little closure here i love the fact that it is a classic sort of triangle top with really thin straps i haven't really worn a lot of these um in one of my old swimsuit hauls and try-ons i did try one and i'm sort of like it's reminiscent of like bathing suits i would have worn in the past but as i've gotten older i usually like more coverage and more comfort but this is very comfortable it fits really well the coloring the pattern i mean this couldn't be more perfect the mint the mint color on this does anybody like mint chocolate chip ice cream? Because this bathing suit <laughs> reminds me of that. Ooh, I love this so much. I love the mix and match of colors. I love the mint and I love it next to this purple. The purple is the perfect color to have matched with this bathing suit. This bathing suit feels really really good on it's giving me a lot of compression a lot of hold a lot of lift it feels like a sports bra that i have and i love when bathing suits give me that type of secure feeling if you know what i mean the one shoulder one sleeve top with this little sort of peekaboo cut out right here i'm obsessed with the suit would not be the same if it did not have this all this detail the high-waisted bathing suit bottom is great it has a lot of sort of compression throughout my tummy tummy control the bottoms are wedgie proof and I love the way that it hits me how high it comes on either side without me having to sort of do it on my own I'm in a medium top and a medium bottom I will be in a medium top and bottom throughout the entire haul and try on and uh, I'm just so happy about this so so happy cup she is just not playing fair with y'all oh my god ah oh, this cup she has this reaction on me every time i work with them because their stuff is just the absolute cutest and on top of it you can't only be cute and just be cute alone you have to be cute and fit really well ah oh, i have I just, I'm at, I'm at a loss for words. I'm at a loss. This, this bathing suit, this bikini is absolute perfection. Since this came undone, I wanted to just show you guys that this is a do-it-yourself tie. So you guys can tie it like so. I'll probably just tie it in a double knot just because it came undone. I hadn't really tied it very tightly. But, um, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is this all that I'm gonna say about this bathing suit? Maybe. <laughs> okay, let me be for real for one second. Let me talk about details, okay. High-waisted bikini bottom, 
fitting me exactly where I like it on my hip. I do not have to pull it up any higher. It's already cut the way that it is meant for my body. It is wedgie proof. It gives me full coverage on the bottom. The print, the print is just perfect let's move on to the top the top feels so good on it feels like again sort of like a sports bra compression which i love the back is the cutest detail a crisscross you can tie it however tight you want you can make this part a little bit less tight if you wanted to loosen up the back it does have removable pads on the inside that you can adjust to where you want them to be like i am doing right now i love this sort of keyhole peekaboo moment in the top I mean, it doesn't get much better than this. That's all I have to say. It's perfection. Let's move on. This ombre is unreal. This is the only one piece suit I'm trying on and that's for a very specific reason. It's because this is just the best one piece suit maybe ever. It is so good. There is one thing that I wanted to just quickly touch on that I'm a little bit disappointed about. The coloring, the fit, everything is perfect except for the fact that it has this sort of like I guess it would be like a bra shelf lining underneath uh, for the bust. And you can also see the removable cups. I'm gonna go ahead and take out the removable cups because I really don't like the fact that you can see them. And I really don't know if that's going to affect sort of this lining underneath that you can clearly visibly see, which I don't love. So give me one second. I'm gonna adjust some things and come right back. I have just removed the circular removable pads, and I definitely like the fact that you can't see them anymore. However, you can still see this line underneath my bust, and it's not really fitting me very well because I feel like the line should be underneath my bust, and so I keep having to sort of like pull it down and adjust, but it's just a little strange for me. Um, I think that the lining should have gone all the way down so you don't see the line at all, or it should have been a little bit wider to make sure that my bust can fit. I don't hate the suit because of it. I mean, I just wish it was a little bit different. The suit is so good, you guys. I think once I've removed the pads, I liked it a little bit better. The line probably is always going to bother me, but it's not going to make me not ever want to wear the suit because I think all of the other, you know, positive things about this suit are definitely going to outweigh this one little sort of design detail. It fits me really well. It's wedgie proof. It's very modest. It's not low cut. There are obviously no adjustable straps. I'm just so incredibly happy with the style of this bathing suit, the ombre, the way that it fits my body, that I think that I can overlook this sort of lining underneath. I don't think that it's gonna be detrimental and make me not wanna wear this suit. I'm really happy about this and I cannot wait to wear it. These might be my most favorite bottoms of all time these bottoms are so good they fit me so well I am obsessed with how high they go on my hip and how high-waisted they are they couldn't fit me any better love the baby blue not a huge baby blue person love the suit there's something a little strange going on up here I tried to tighten it up I tried to sort of lay it differently it's a classic sort of triangle top with an amazing sort of crisscross uh, detail in the back you tighten the straps and bring this up i do like the top but there's just something maybe i'm not supposed to be like a sort of triangle top person i think sometimes when i have triangle tops it doesn't fill it out the way maybe a bigger busted person would be able to fill it out which might be the reason it's causing this sort of like extra fabric up here and then also I find it really difficult to sort of lay this flat I feel like I'm not really sure if this is fitting me the way that I would like it to I think if I pulled it down just like that but then it feels a little strange trying to figure this one out a little bit bottoms 1000% obsessed with top not really sure I mean it certainly doesn't fit bad love this baby blue bikini i don't think that i'm usually sort of drawn to baby blue and now i'm sort of rethinking that as well i think that this is great we have officially made it to the very last bathing suit from my cup she haul and try on and i cannot say enough good things about how cute this is i think the ruffles really make this suit 
it. The fit couldn't be more perfect. It has a sort of crisscross in the front to tie it then in the back, which I really, really, really like. So this is a true wrap style top here. The ruffling detail is just stunning. It does stop up here, it does not go down the back. The bottoms fit me really well. I did just pull them up a little bit more than normal. You guys can see the difference as always when I pull them up a little bit higher on my hip. There is some ruching detail here on the side. I think that like cup she might be like my favorite place to buy a bathing suit because I have such incredibly good luck with how everything fits me. I mean, I didn't really have anything bad to say about any of the suits that I tried on today, which I mean, to me in my book is like, it couldn't get any better. I have one last item to try on for you guys. Unfortunately, the dress that I did order in gray, in a gray sort of like cotton dress, did not come in my size. So they sent this one to me instead. I don't really love it, but I wanted to show you guys how it fits on my body. So that way, if you do enjoy it, you can also maybe go ahead and grab that after seeing how it fits on me. And I will be sure to link the dress that I did order below because I think it's a really, really awesome some dress. This is the dress that Cupshe sent me instead of this dress that I had ordered with them initially. It's very similar styles, just a different color. I don't really love the brown sort of tie-dye color, but I think the fit could not be any better. It has this sort of tie at the sort of side waist here, which you can open up to give you a larger keyhole detail here. It fits great around the booty. And then I love the detail of the ruching that sort of goes across the front of the dress. This sort of bodycon style dress fits my shape really well. If you guys are interested in that gray dress, I will leave that link below and also this link as well in the event that you wanna pick it up. That concludes today's haul and try on with Cupshe. I really hope that you guys enjoyed today's haul. I hope that you guys found some things that you've really liked. I love the fact that they are size inclusive. They offer sizes extra small all the way up to 4X, which is great. They have so many options online to choose from dresses, bathing suits, blouses, jumpsuits, things of that nature, some accessories. And the kicker is that they are actually giving away to all of my followers 15%. If you guys use the code mayor 15 you guys can see that code right here. Use that at checkout. I hope today's haul was really helpful. I hope that you guys could see how these items fit on a size 8 slash 10 body. I also hope that it inspired you to try something maybe you wouldn't have tried otherwise. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and be sure to hit that bell to get notification anytime I upload a new video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!